Uh, hello friends, uh, I'm going to explain to you today how to use the matrix theory in actually computer graphics. Uh, so let's talk about computer graphics. Uh, it's very, very interesting to see if you have a matrix. For example, let's talk about how to represent uh, any co point in the form of coordinate system. So imagine I have the regular x-axis and the y-axis just like that and I have a point here x comma y. So the point x comma y could either be say 3 comma 2 or something like that. So 3 comma 2 means 1, 2, 3 units and 2 units we go. This is the point we will talk, talk about it as p. So this point can be represented in the form of a column matrix x, y. And further, here in this case, that is taken as 3 and 2. So that is a column matrix. Now imagine I have something called as a transforming matrix. Now a transforming matrix is something like this. I say, I, I call it as T. T is like 1, 0, 0, minus 1. Now if I take this transform matrix and multiply it with P, so this is what is going to happen. 1, 0, 0, minus 1. And this is going to give me 3 and 2. Now, as I multiply this, now observe the matrix multiplication, 1 into 3 plus 0, so I get a 3 here, 0 and a minus 2 here. So that's how I get the point as 3 comma minus 2. Now, 3 comma minus 2 means this point, which is shown here, actually gets reflected here, 3 comma minus 2. So there is something like a mirror reflection of this point. Now imagine we have a set of points, uh, four points or whatever you have, say a box like this and there are points like 0, 0, this is 1 and this is 1, 1 and this is 1, 0. Okay. Now when we use this concept, all the points, that is these points are getting reflected so this box which is shown will get reflected like this below. Uh, in other words, if you now have something like say a tree or something like this, uh, this gets reflected just by using this matrix. So this transform, this is called as a transforming matrix 1, 0, 0, minus 1. Uh, you can have other transforming metrics like this, which perhaps extends it. For example, if I have a matrix like C0, say 0, 1, and I multiply this with a matrix, say uh, 1, 1. Now, when I do this 1, 1, what I'm, going to, what I'm going to get is C and 1. So, in other words, the x coordinate has become now C. Suppose C is, C is 3. 3 means the x coordinate gets extended. So this box which is shown here, this box which is shown here, only the x coordinates will get extended and the box would now appear to be enlarged like this. So this would be the new box. So this is the software uh, they use in uh, uh, enlarging things, extending things, reflecting things. Uh, we also did a matrix about that sin alpha cos alpha which I would like to tell you about in the next uh, video. Uh, so you can form your own matrices, you try these transforms. In fact, this data, this tree data, all these points are given in the form of a matrix. So you can have a house or something like this that has got a, a certain, uh, you know, a coordinate system and you can reflect the house uh, just like that uh, using the concept of matrix because each one of them has got coordinate system. So the coordinate of each of these points would be something like a, a, a matrix like this, say 2, 0, 0, 2, 4, 1, 3, 1, 0, 2, 3, 0, 0, 1 or some matrix uh, P. So when you multiply this with T times P, each of these points are actually going to be reflected or enlarged and they will give you a new set of values. And these new set of values are going to do the required transform. I hope you enjoyed this. I found this idea very, very good, very intriguing. Uh, thank you for watching.
and look forward for more on computer graphics.